In this screencast, uh, we'll uh, discuss several functions and uh, show them to be primitive recursive. We'll uh, start with binary multiplication. And remember that um, uh, all these functions are defined uh, only on natural numbers in the context of uh, this class because we're dealing with natural numbers. So the function that we want to show uh, to be primitive recursive is uh, x times y, uh, binary multiplication. Now recall from our previous screencast, uh, we have already shown that uh, add x, y, the binary addition, is primitive recursive. Now, um, let's use that knowledge and uh, uh, show that uh, uh, binary multiplication f of x, y, which we'll call mult, um, because this is a more mnemonic notation, mult x, y, is primitive recursive. So we're going to write uh, two recurrences. The base recurrence is uh, mult x and 0 is equal to uh, x times 0. And it's equal to 0. And then in the recursive case, mult of x, y, plus 1 equals mult x and y plus x. So the, the insight right, is that we are adding x to itself y times. So we use y as a counter. And uh, this is obviously, we're going to be using the second uh, definition of primitive recurs uh, uh, recursion. So mult um, x0 equals nx. So this is uh, uh, one of the initial functions, the null function. And then let's write the recursive case, uh, mult of uh, x and y plus 1. We use y as t in the formal definition. y plus 1 equals uh, g. Okay, we have enough space here. Um, g of y, then this uh, recursive call mult x y colon and um, x. where uh, g is a uh, function of, uh, uh, well, total function of uh, uh, three arguments, uh, x1, x2, x3. Uh, which is equal to uh, the projection of the second uh, argument uh, plus the projection of the third argument. So x2 plus x3. So, for example, uh, g of uh, y mult x y and x uh, is equal uh, to uh, mult x y plus x. And this is x two, and and this is x three, in a formal definition. And obviously, this is a uh, um, primitive recursive function right? because we have shown that uh, addition is primitive recursive and then composition preserves um, computability and um, totality. 
So the next function is um, x factorial is uh, primitive recursive. So we know that uh, x times y uh, is primitive recursive binary multiplication. We could ju just uh, uh, showed it to be uh, primitive recursive, obtained um, uh, from the initial functions uh, by composition and uh, finite applications of compositions and primitive uh, uh, recursions. So let's rate the recurrences and use our knowledge that uh, x times y is primitive recursive to show that uh, the factorial function is uh, also primitive recursive. So in the base case, we have the 0. The factorial of 0 is 1, and then uh, the factorial of x plus 1 is uh, equal uh, to x plus 1 times uh, x factorial. Or uh, x plus 1 is simply the successor of x, it's one of the initial functions, uh, times uh, x factorial. So that's, uh, that's the insight. Uh, and uh, uh, now we uh, can uh, use uh, the... Uh, primitive recursion and composition uh, to show that uh, fact uh, uh, is uh, primitive uh, primitive recursive. Uh, so can be derived from the initial functions by a finite number of applications of compositions and uh, primitive uh, uh, recursions. So uh, fact of 0 is 1 and fact of x plus 1 is uh, g of um, uh, x uh, fact of x. We're using uh, the first definition of primitive recursion and the g of x is the total function of two arguments x1 and x2 uh, which is um, equal to uh, the successor of um, uh, the projection of uh, uh, x, the first projection uh, x1 and x2 times um, uh, times um, the, the second projection uh, u2 uh, 2 of x1 and x2 so for example uh, in, other, in other words uh, g of x uh, fact of x uh, equals S times fact x. Okay. Um, so we can let's um, uh, try an example. What is fact of uh, three? So fact of three uh, equals um, a fact of uh, uh, two plus one. And this equals to uh, this equals uh, uh, the successor of um, two times uh, uh, fact of two, uh, which is equal to uh, s of two fact of one plus one, and that in turns uh, in turn equals uh, s of two times s of 1 times uh, fact of uh, 1 okay and that um, let's continue working uh, s of 2 s of 1 um, s of um, uh, okay, times fact of 0 plus 1, and this is s of 2 uh, times s of 1 times uh, s of uh, 0 uh, times uh, fact of 0. And fact of 0 by the base case is 1, so it's uh, 3 times 2 times 1 times 1, and that gives us uh, 6.